Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Uncommon Lands from Shadows Over Innistrad. I like, they're very flavorful and the pictures are gorgeous. Like I could see these as shock lands or, and the enemy color. So they, they are the enemy color come into play tap lands, which we've had for some time, but never in the enemy colors. So back in Basin, we had like Lanawar Palace, no, Alvin Palace and Coastal something. And I've always enjoyed those lands because they made drafting pretty easy. And they also were incredibly useful for decks themselves, two color decks. I like the fact that now we're making complete sets of 10. So the other ally colors are actually in Oath of the Gatewatch. So combined, you have all 10 of them. And there's something kind of OCD where like 10 is a lot better than just 5. I hope in the future, Wizards of the Coast has stated that they will make sets of 10, one for every ally color and one for every enemy color. And I'm very happy to see that they are trying to do that. So what will the rare land slots be? It could be the enemy versions of the Oath of the Gatewatch rare lands. I think that would be more than suitable. Or maybe ally versions of man lands, reprints. Who knows? Anyway, I like this set of 10. It's very beautiful. Bye, guys.